Hey y'all, what's up? I tell you, every time I say y'all, I think of a guy who I talked to on the phone, and when I was talking, and he goes, you must be a Yankee. I said, a what? He said, you're a Yankee. And I said, no, I'm not. I said, I'm white, and I'm a girl. <laughs> and because I, I would use the word y'all a lot, and I don't know why, but I just do and did, and that was like many moons ago. But I felt insulted. I'm like, I'm like, why are you calling me names? <laughs> I'm like, do I call you a, um, I don't even know, you know, what I would have called him, but back then, but I was just like, dang, you know, we're meeting over the phone and your name calling me. Okay. Say hi to Nosy. Um, <laughs> he comes and gets treats and then he wants to leave my room. So it's wonderful. He needs like a, I need a kitty door on my door. So this is going to be a chit chat and a, um, look into my, uh, mixed media book. That's what I'm calling it because I use some mixed media stuff and stickers and, you know, you name it, it's in here. And I'm going to start from the beginning in case, you know, you guys don't want to go back and watch videos. I can't link videos. So, you know, it is what it is until I can figure it out. If I had to do on a computer, then it ain't going to happen. I don't know how to do all that fancy stuff that some of y'all do. But anyway, so this is how I decorated it. As you can tell, Dollar Tree sticker, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree. I think it's all Dollar Tree. I wish I could see better. So this came off of my Happy Meal. Yes, I get Happy Meal. Happy Meals. My book is sliding. And um, this came off of my Dollar Tree Krabby Patties. <laughs> I love the ones that came on a stick. If you know at Christmas they had the Krabby Patty thing that came on a stick. Those were amazing. I think I just ran out. And this is an AliExpress punch that I did an envelope punch in and the little letter piece that goes in. And then here is I just decorated this because I thought it was ugly. You know, just a plain page. So I decorated it. Are you getting cute over there rubbing your whiskers? So here's the first page that I did. I really don't remember. I think I had this stamp. I found this stamp laying around and this is a stamp that I colored and I love this stamp. A little girl, um, Samantha in my children's church, she drew <clears throat> these little designs all the time in her art project. Just love them. So I don't know. And then there's, you know, got washi tape, washi tape. What are you doing? Good grief. This one I thought was pretty cool, but I got upset with myself that I did. I stamped two of these images. Like I stamped it up here, which what I should have left it alone. And then I stamped it here. And then I got this great idea to try to stamp these pieces on, but I couldn't stamp them. I had to stamp them on paper and then cut them out because you couldn't see them. So, and this is a die cut that Eric had got me from Tuesday morning. And, um, and now he's going to leave. So my cat will probably jump over. So I don't know. I don't really remember like all what my stamps and stuff are. You know, like the names and all that good stuff. Oh, look at that. Here's one of my orders from Perry Ann Arts and Things. So here's a page that none of my pages really turn out how I want them to. And now I'm shaking my camera. This is another if you watch one of my uh, Tuesday morning hauls, I did. This is I yeah a really funky face, but this is um this is the octopus um, cut out, and I just gave them weird faces. But I'm just gonna flip through because I've already you know done this and probably explained more. Like just coffee page, the coffee page I did too many beans on here, and I don't know if this is an alley. <laughs> Dude, your tail's in my video. Do you mind? Oh, now, you, now, now we're going to add paw prints. Okay. I hear you. So, um, I did too many beans, and then I came up with this idea to put all this other stuff, and of course you can't see it because I went, you know, bean crazy. And then this one was inspired by Karen's Corner. It's K-A-R-I-N, Karen's Corner. Okay, more Pauls. 
And um, so what she did on this one, oh my gosh, let me remember. Okay, so she did two different circles. You And then it's good if you have like sticky paper or sticky, I don't know what it's called, like a post-it note, but it's sticky all over it. <laughs> and so you, I used to, um, a circle punch. And I have two different sizes, like this big one and this small one. And then I put the circles where I wanted. Then I got a stencil and I stenciled it. So I stenciled like this pattern, this pattern, and this pattern. And then on this page, this was like a tree stencil that I used and then a rainbow and then this one. So this page was a little bit harder. Then what you do, let me see if I remember. Then the outline of your circle, then you remove your circle. So after you've stenciled it all, you know, put your stencils like the pink and the, the yellow grass looking stuff and then um, the stars. So then, then after you're done stenciling, then you can lift your circles up. Then the the piece that you have that has your hollow circle, you lay that over so all you can see is the circle. Okay, so you're not going to get anything like out here. And then I then I took the um, on this one I used the coffee bean and I should have I wish I used another color, but anyway. So then you stamp or you stencil, sorry, in here in your circle. Then, and so then this one I used like a zigzag or whatever that's called. Um, then you take a black pen or, you know, very thin marker and you outline every single piece. So I just sat and out and it makes these pop. So that was fun. So Karen's Corner, I got this idea from her. Oh, this is sticking. And then this is the, um, oh my goodness, I forgot who these are. I know y'all are going to know, but see, these, these pages totally came out, like, totally different. So, yeah, I just went with, went with what it did. And then this is a, a rose that I got from, um, a rose dye. It came as a set in, um, a princess thing from Parian from Etsy. And then this, I think, is called Two Point Perspective. I did this in high school. Unfortunately, I didn't finish it. But I actually, my last one that I think that I did, I don't know if it went into the library and then, or if that was one, no, I think that was another one. My Two Point Perspective actually went out in the mall, like in our mall that we have, and it was on display. I was so proud. I got the biggest A, but I don't know why I didn't finish this. And then it's kind of hard to turn. Uh, what, how, many, how many minutes? This page is just a, I was bored. Um, I think I was testing out markers and I really hate this page. So, yeah. So, and those are some dyes, like those dinosaur dyes I got from AliExpress, the macaroons I got from Ali. I think all the dyes that you see on here I got from AliExpress. And then this one I love. I love the mushroom. I think my mushroom stamps and the bees, I think they came from AliExpress too. I'm not sure. Ooh, they're sticking together. This page was a I don't know what I'm doing page. This was like I was trying to stencil and yeah. But it's funny because of these stickers that I stuck in here. Like that one says now. That says to do. I didn't know that one said to do also. And then this one was like, what does it say? Oh, not never. And then to to don't. And then to, what does that one say? Not now. So this one's like a positive. This is like, and then this came. This is a flower that um, Perry and Arts and Things had on my package. And so I took it off, ripped it off very carefully so I could um, reuse it. Okay, I'm going to try to flip through a little faster and just show you. And these are um, cutouts and stamps. I loved this page. These are actually um, stamps that I got from AliExpress, and these are stamps and dies. So, and I cut these and colored them and cut them out. These I had to cut out by hand. These I was able to cut out. My friend thought these were stickers, so I thought, well, I must have done a really good job. And then, of course, you can see the vines are, weren't supposed to be coming through. And this one. This one was fun. I, I was hoping Eric was going to help me color some of these people, but he never did. So I had to color them all by myself. And then I saw somebody, I don't know if it was Karen's Corner again, who did where she cut the pages 
or if she just cut a page and I went bananas cutting all these pages but I made um I did a video I think how I did these birds these were also not the birds but the pattern on them was sorry I'm shaking <laughs> um, these were inspired by Karen's corner the design and then this is a stamp from Aliexpress one of them I messed up on but you really can't tell and then this is a St. Patrick's Day um, page I did and that's a poem that I had found and these right here like this one these are really thick pieces these are cake toppers that go on a cake and I just took the stick off and <laughs> I really don't like these bunny rabbits I did the ears wrong this is made from a toilet paper a toilet paper tube the circle and then you take the ears and you bend it but I didn't know I did the circle first and then I did the ears I didn't know that you're supposed to have it all together and then stamp it but that's how I did it and then here's the Easter page I was inspired by these daffodils but I'm not really happy with this page and then these are also um, cupcake picks that I took the sticks off because apparently we saved oh, cupcake cook this one is like I'm not really happy with this one either. This is Alice in Wonderland and the rabbit. And this is supposed to be a, um, I made a table out of these stickers that I had. I mean, it's pretty cool, but I wish she wasn't like all the way up there. But anyway, I guess it's all right. I might add some more. That's one thing you can always go back and add. This one I really like. This is a paper. And I know I'm going to say her, you know, well, them a lot. Perry and Arts and Things. This is a paper that she had wrapped um, my package in so I put it in here because I love the flowers and just added to it I need to hurry up because I don't want to make this super long this is actually I think paper and I got cut in half or something and so I put one half on one side and one half on the other I really like this and I like the brick stencil that I used and then this was just some um, cartoon comics that I thought was funny so I put them in here and then these are Dollar Tree stickers and stencils and now this I'm gonna say it again Perry and Arts and Things this is tissue paper that they wrapped my thing in and it was black and white and I took in color this whole thing I wanted my family member and Eric to help me but I did it all myself so I really think it turned out nice I'm not like some of my art I like some of it or you know what I some of my projects or whatever you want to call this I like and some I don't and then these were um, embossing folders that I got from Michaels the pineapple with the leaves the stamp the pineapple is a stamp and then the the um, leaves are the embossing powder and then this is the mermaid stamp with the embossing waves <clears throat> yes yeah, some of these pages I must have apparently stuck together um, I don't know really what I was calling. I was inspired by, I don't know if it's this sticker or I was trying to do, uh, what do you call these flowers? Blossom, cherry blossoms. So, yeah, this is what I came up with. Okay, and then, I thought I had more than that. I just threw this together. This, this right here was using a card. It's like a credit card, you know, but it's not a credit card, but it's a, you know, well, you can use a credit card. I mean, expired one or something. Um, just basically, I dabbed paint, and then I just smeared it, and then I must have had to do it again because I didn't like how it turned out, so. Oh, actually, no, we're, yeah, we're not done. These aren't, I wanted to do, I don't know if it was Alice in Wonderland or Wizard of Oz. I wanted to put them on, you know, each of these pages, but I didn't do that yet. So these are stickers from the Dollar Tree, the Wall Decals, and I put, I think it was New York, and I put them in my book. And then here is London. Sorry if you see my mess over there. And Paris. These are, like I said, the wall stickers. So I just put some that brick and just glued them in here. I love this page. I, I did this when I was really emotional and I was really upset. So, yeah, just don't look at my sticker because I was really PO'd, but I love this. Who are you calling empty? And then I love 
this one it says is it just me or and then it says a whole bunch of stuff so and then these are the Dollar Tree stickers I thought were so fitting and these are those delusional cats I think that's what all my other stickers were and I got these from um, Perry and Arts and things And then these, I don't know what these were from, but this is what I came up with. These are my stickers that I got at Walmart. So they have these stickers and these ones are little petals and you can make the flower. Like these ones and this one. It's hard to look through my, my lens. I don't know where the heck I got these at though. And then <laughs> this, these pieces right here came from tags that I cut out from a book that I got. I mean, from, um, you know, the tags. Ugh. Sorry, I got to move myself. The tag, um, you know, leftovers. So I cut out the tag and then I had these pieces and then I started just gluing them, you know, randomly. And um, actually, no, at first I did this. I did this and I didn't like how it turned out. It, it, it just, the page, some of the pages and I, we fight like everything else in my life. And um, so then I had these and I'm like, you know what? I don't want to, can you wait a minute? Dag on cat. Um, and then so the tag, I, I put the tag leftovers in here. And then these are just numbers that are near and dear to my heart. And then I put flowers, I think. So... Oh, and then I put, this says just breathe, and then this one says reach for the stars. But like I said, you can always, you can always go back. Okay, here we go. We're getting, so this one I didn't do. I just put this paper on here, so I didn't, you know, jazz it up or do anything. This one I did yesterday, and I had to tear it out because, well, this I had to tear out, these pieces. This is the wall, and I think I have... This is basically the the wall decal that I got, and I have to do leftover. I have to do Belle, so I'm gonna put her on top of this pretty paper that I showed you in my Etsy haul. I think it was Etsy. So I'm shaking again, but what I did is I stamped. I stamped something. I did something, and I sprayed the page. That was stupid, because the page did not like it at all and I had to hurry up and get the page out of the book you know cut these out have these dry because everything just got wet because I'm thinking I used oxide ink I thought and but the page and I only gave it a couple squirts but anyway so I put the butterfly um the butterfly border because I thought it was cute but I don't know I really kind of like it and I don't like it so but anyway, so that's the wall art from the Dollar Tree. And then here is Cinderella. Now Cinderella, well, no, okay, what happened was, see Cinderella, I did Cinderella first. I mean, I did Ariel, messed up, and then I did, you know, Cinderella. So the, this stamp that I used, the neon little block stamp, it came out all over here. Like, like it came right here, right here. Everywhere I put it, it came out, it came through this page. So that's why I put the butterfly, because everywhere where this is, it's on the other page. So here is Cinderella. I got her, and then pretty much that is it. But then when you come back here, I had another one of these. I don't know if I was supposed to, if I got it for my friend, and then she had one, and like, you know, keep it. So then I had two, because um, one of mine, one of these, this is another um, Dollar Tree wall decal. And this one, um, the other one I have, it's in my shelf thing that I have, that I have my makeup. I put them in the back. I put some of these girls in the back. But anyway, so I took my stamp pad and I made, you know, these different, um, I did one at a time. So basically the first one that I did was her and I used my, uh, art glitter glue. I love that stuff. But anyway, so I glued her. And then I, you know, made the designs like that. I really liked it. I just did it for all of them. I thought it was really pretty. And then I did this one. I think I just spit on my phone. And then this one. She's like trying to give her a heart. And then I did this one. And I just, you know, did weird designs. 
thank you. Weird designs, and that's what I came up with. So that's what I did, and that is it. I put these, I don't know why I put these in the back now that I'm thinking of it, but because I have those other ones, you know, I have, I put these here, so I don't know. I wasn't thinking. I was actually going to put these in the back, but I don't know, and I don't, I don't have anything to do. I mean, I don't have anything on this page yet, but that is it, guys. That is what I have so far in my um, mixed media book. And it's getting a little uh, chunky here. And I have all them pages. But this is really, it's really good to have. Because this is like an outlet for me when I get um, stressed out. And like when I was trying to do it yesterday or was it the day before. I, um, you know that mermaid page. I was just like, you know what? I got to put it up. I got to put it up and come back to it. So that's what I did. And then I worked on uh, Cinderella. I mean, I was arguing with the stamp pads. Oh my goodness, my my sponges weren't sponging. <laughs> I'm just like, what is it? What is the problem? <laughs> Does anybody have that issue? Please tell me I'm not by myself. I argue with stuff. So, but anyway, I hope you guys like my expressions on my things. And um, that's, you know, I do make cards. I don't really scrapbook. Um, I try to make cards, put it that way. And um, a lot of them are on my Instagram. And I guess that's it. I don't know if my Instagram is the same as my YouTube channel. I don't know. I was going to change my name to Invisible. I thought that was more fitting. Invisible loves to shop. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I'm going to go and I will talk to you guys later. I hope you guys are having a blessed one. And I will see you when I see you. Alrighty, bye.